Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Jordan here with you from Raisin Razos. My son, FYI, before I start this, is running around with his toys. So if you hear anything in the background, it is my son. Don't be worried. <laughs> um, so this video is about um, how I lost like 47 pounds in three months. Um, I recently, to start our journey here, I'll give you like a little backstory. Um, I had a baby in February. Um, into February, I was 222 pounds a day I left the hospital after I had her. So obviously you have water weight, you still have baby weight that you need to lose, stuff like that. About a week went by and I lost all my weight with my son, like quick, like within two weeks, all that weight I gained with him was gone, um, besides like 10 pounds. Well, I was back down to my pre-maternity weight um, with her before I got pregnant with her. Um, so, I went back to, I dropped to like 10 pounds. I was like at 210. Yeah, it, I was not happy with that weight. I wanted to do something that was functional for me and for my family and like did not make me cranky because I wanted things I wanted to eat and not feel like I'm limited. So with that being said, I started the keto diet. Um, the keto diet became my best friend. Um, and I lost weight so fast on this diet that I couldn't even really keep track. Like I kept track, but it was just like, holy crap, I'm losing a lot of weight. And I didn't realize it until I put on a pair of shorts that I wear. I wore last May when I took my son to Florida and he was like 10 months old. And they were like way thick. I'll post the picture up here for you. Um, but yeah, I was so surprised when I put those on for the summer to wear. And I was like, holy crap, I really have lost a lot of weight. And when you look at yourself every day, you really don't see it, but I really did. Um, so with that being said, it was postpartum weight I needed to lose. It was personal weight I needed to lose before I wanted to be smaller than I was before. Um, both my kids, because I was a little more on my heavy side, um, before I got pregnant, I was not happy with my weight before I ever got pregnant. So I've been on a process of trying to lose more now, um, but I am under pre-pregnancy weight now. So that's like a thumbs up on there. Um, I, and it's really true what people say that you're, your weight loss is 80, 20. So like 80% what you eat, 20% working out. Um, I did not work out for these three months, just for the FYI. Um, I did not work out. Um, I ate like strictly on the diet for three months. The first two weeks was the hardest for me. I did cheat like a little bit on the weekends or one day a week I cheated and had something bad, like something fried or, but I limited myself. I didn't like what do you call it whenever you like gorge like I didn't gorge on um bad food so just remember that um when you go and do this don't gorge yourself when you cheat just limit yourself but have that little pleasure like I'm doing good I deserve that so um once a week we took my kid uh we call it skate in my house they have like a skating ring up in a town over from us that we take our kids to um, they have a toddler days on Thursday Well, they do um, fried cheese on a stick. So in keto, you can have cheese, um, a little bit of dairy, not so much. You can have your coffee, you can have your creamer still. You just have to watch how much you use. Um, you can't have like bread, wheat, noodles, all of pretty much things that are white. You should not eat. That's what I call it. Um, but other than that, like keto is really easy like you can go out to eat and eat that but back to what I was telling you like Thursdays are my cheat days because I would take them and I'll get fried cheese on a stick yes I'm still eating the cheese that's the keto part but the fried parts was bad for you so I that's what my cheat was and the rest of the day I ate keto so with all that I've lost 47 pounds total right now I've hit a plateau with my weight um I've started working out sorry my son came in here so um I've lost 47 pounds total. Um, I did it strictly for three months. And then now I've been like off and on, like limiting myself of what I eat bad, not necessarily eating fully keto. Um, most of the time I try to eat more clean and I haven't gained anything back. Um, I hit a plateau. I started working out. So I don't know. I think it's muscle mass with the scale I have. It kind of tells me that I've had more muscle mass than I am weight right now. So I'm not mad with my scale number. Um, so with all that being said, keto is pretty easy. You can go out to eat. All you have to do is order with no bun or change the pasta for veggies or, and like you can't have corn. 
So rice, beans, corn, tortillas, you can't have any of that stuff on keto, which sucks because my husband is Hispanic. His mom makes awesome food. My work mom, she's Hispanic. She makes awesome food, but she also does keto. And she said, tell me that it is very hard for her as a Hispanic to be on keto because of that. So with that being said, I don't know if you will be able to if you are and be the hardest thing, but it's very easy for me because I'm not, I don't have that type of culture in our house. So I eat like a lot of American food. So it's easy for me because I'm not strictly Hispanic food um, or Asian food. They're the same way too. They eat a lot of rice and um, tortillas and stuff like that. So, and fried stuff. So that's like kind of the hardest thing for you. But other than that, I didn't realize how easy it was, how easy access things were. Pinterest was my best friend. I made so many things that were like five ingredients um, that were amazing. I had, I made bagels the other morning took me five seconds to mix it, threw it in the oven, 10 minutes in the oven, it was done. And these bagels were like amazing. I mean, it's obviously not gonna be like a puffy wheat bagel, but it tasted good and it replaced the bagel and it made me want quit wanting the bagel. So it worked. Um, it's just finding things that you can find. Now I'll be honest, some keto recipes, it's a hit and miss. But if you can find some good ones, you'll be set. So in my, in my bio, there's a Pinterest link if you click on that, it will take you to my Pinterest, which I have boards. If you click on the keto board, that's all the ones I've saved that are like 100% bomb. Like nothing is wrong with them. It tastes like the normal um, thing. Anyway, so yeah, check that out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I lost weight. I didn't work out or anything. I just ate strictly on the keto diet. If you have not tried the keto diet, please give it a chance. Get through those two weeks and you'll be set. You can have pop zero. You can have diet pop. A lot of diets do not let you have that. I still drink pop zero and diet pop and I lost 37 pounds while doing that. So that's what I like about the diet. It's so lenient. You can have things that you like, just diet or zero. Um, if you do not like diet pop, do not think that zero tastes the same because it does not. I now cannot drink regular pop because the, I call it the burning, like when it goes down your throat, I call it the burning. I cannot drink it, it burns so bad, so I drink zero. Mountain Dew Zero tastes exactly the same to me. Cherry Pepsi Zero tastes like Cherry Pepsi. Now there's some that are hit and miss, like Pepsi Zero I don't like. I think it tastes like diluted. Um, careful baby. But yeah, you wanna appear with me? You wanna see? No, someone wants to come say hi. Say hi. <laughs> say hi, YouTube. You gonna say hi? Say, look at my new shoes. New shoes? He's showing you, yeah. Ain't nobody. Anyway, so um, with that being said, try the keto diet. You will love it. Um, that's how I honestly lost 47 pounds. I was blown away and I'm going to be back on it for the next month because we're going to, anyway guys, sorry, he wanted to say hi. So that is honestly how I lost 47 pounds, it's just the keto diet. I am, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't lay around and stuff. I went to work, I stand all day at work, um, but that was like as much as my exercise I get. Um, I do have 202, so that's an exercise in itself, um, but now I have been walking like three miles every other day. Um, I did a few ab workouts here and there and I've done like, um, with the baby in the harness, I've done like squats and leg workouts, um, but nothing new, not too intensity because I think that I do have, um, where this is like on your belly where it like detaches while you're pregnant. I think I have a little bit of that. So I haven't been like hardcore working out yet just to make sure that goes back. Cause I am only five months postpartum. That being said, I've lost a crap ton of hair. It's falling out everywhere. Um, I also got a mom cut. It's like really messed up right now because I just pulled out a ponytail, but it's like angled and angled bob. I totally love it. I'm going to get a trim on it soon too, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to tell you. The scale and the app. Um, I haven't really talked about the app. It's called Carb Manager. It's on your app store. You can get it on Google Play and Android. Um, I'll, I'll like post a picture or like screen play it for you on here. Um, but it's an app, you click on it, you put in what you eat. You can actually put in like Sonic and uh, Taco Bell food. Some people have already put that on there. If not, you can look up the macros and stuff on their websites. Um, 
and you just enter that stuff and it'll tell you if it's friendly or not keto friendly. You put in your weight, how much you wanna lose, it gives you your calorie intake, what your uh, macro intake should be. And that was like my best friend with the keto, like the intake, I tried to nail that every single day and not go over the net grams, like the net carbs. Um, net grams, you count grams and carbs. So it's like, you get confused. So net carbs is what I counted. And I didn't go over my net carbs daily. So if you don't go over that, and that's how much you want to lose, really. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That is how I lost 47 pounds. Check it out. Try it. I'll link everything below for you guys to go find. Um, it was honestly the best 40 pounds I've ever lost. 47 pounds I've ever lost. Almost 50. So that's a lot of weight. I didn't realize how much I actually lost. So check it out.